guys, welcome to your Pick a Card Love Reading. Uh, today we're going to jump right in with the tarot and find out what your person's thinking about this connection. Um, I know a lot of you guys are in separation right now, and so uh, these readings can kind of be a little insightful. I mean, they can give you a little clarity as to what's going on and how your person is thinking and feeling about you. Um, so go ahead and take a look at the cards on the screen, and whichever one your intuition guides you to, that will be your pile. And as always, I will have timestamps below, so feel free to watch all three or click to the specific timestamp of your choice. All right, let's jump right in with pile one and find out what the person on your mind is thinking about this connection and feeling for you today. Okay, we have the fool. The five of wands. Okay, so somebody feels like, um, I just this is just what I got. Somebody feels like an idiot here um, because they started some kind of conflict here. Um, and I just heard unnecessary conflict. Okay, and so whoever this is, you know, this, this could be a leap of faith, yes. And we will clarify, but um, just a layer of the energy from the first two cards out here is that there is somebody that is feeling kind of foolish right now. Okay, let's find out what their, um, I want to know what the hidden energy around your person is. So this means what's the hidden energy around their higher self, their soul, um, how they're thinking and feeling about this connection with you right now that you may not know about. Okay on to that one yeah eight of pinnacles so they want to put in the work okay i feel like in this and this could be the conflict right that they that they just kind of um were lazy when it came to this connection and they didn't put in the work so um i feel like the hidden energy is that they are working okay they're working they're they're willing to work here for this um is, is really what i'm getting all right let's see what's bookending this five of wands here for you Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. So um, right away, I just heard like somebody um, was a little harsh. You know, this is a harsh energy, I think, coupled with the Five of Wands here, especially in this deck. Um, <clears throat> I feel like somebody may have jumped the gun, I just heard. Um, so I don't know if you had like a heated conversation with this person or, um, but anyways, whatever happened between you guys, <clears throat> Um, they they definitely feel foolish about it. So I feel like this is somebody who um, almost feels like they should have put their foot in their mouth. Okay. All right, let's keep going. Why is the fool here? What's bookending that? Next to the Knight of Swords. So this should be interesting. Yeah, death. <clears throat> okay. A um, couple layers here. So I do feel like there was an ending of some sort between you guys with the death card here um, because this person acted irrationally. Okay. Um, another layer is that they want this new beginning with you, okay? Um, because we do have these as corner cards here. Um, they're they're wanting to kind of uh, take this leap again. They want to see where this goes. They I feel like they're working on um, trying to make amends, I just heard. So I think they're trying to kind of figure out the best way to go about this. But again, I think I do, I mean, I'm, I'm getting the feeling overall that there was something that happened here where this person acted um, possibly out of character, really swordsy, and it led to some sort of ending between the two of you. All right, the fool, let's start clarifying. Tell us more here. Page of Wands. So um, this person could have came off really immature. Okay. Um, I'm, I am getting, there's, there's a vibe to this energy here. What, where somebody is just a little immature that they don't really know how to handle their emotions and handle their words. Okay. So again, they, they kind of feel like a fool here for acting this way. Um, another layer again is that they, they really want to take this leap. I mean, we see her, she's actually jumping here, right? Where is she standing up here? So, um, I do think that, you know, deep down this person is, is trying to figure out how to do this and, and come back and start things over with you. All right. Five of wands. Let's see. Ace of cups. Okay. So this conflict definitely could have something to do with them not opening up. Okay. Cause we see the Lotus flower here, how it's opened. Um, there's a lot of love. There's a lot of really healing energy here that I almost get the feeling that this person withheld from you. Okay. So, um, this, this, 
conflict was was definitely something along those lines um whereas i i just think this person wasn't able to express this and in fact it just came off a little harsh they may have even gotten defensive when you brought it up if if you were the one to try to talk about your feelings to this person um they could have been defensive right and it could have left you feeling like WTF like what the hell you know like I just told you how I felt and then here you come and you're you're acting like you know um it's just it wasn't the right response is what I just heard so <clears throat> this person knows that whatever they did um it, it they do feel foolish for it and they do know that it wasn't the right reaction so they are contemplating this right now all right hidden energy eight of pentacles what what is this person working on what's going on here healing yeah um so so there is a silence i definitely get that there's a silence between the two of you but this person definitely wants to work on healing this connection with you um again because we see you know they've got they've got this uh all these emotions for you here with the ace of cups um they're just very conflicted about how to express them and we see i think they acted um, they acted out instead of um, being able to communicate like an adult. I think they just came off more as this page of wands and it, and it, you know, disrupted the peace of this connection because I mean, you know, it takes a lot to open up and express emotions. Um, and when somebody doesn't reciprocate or somebody fails to be able to communicate their true feelings back, then it can hurt, right? So there is a need to work on healing this connection. And I think that's what this person's you know i think they're getting some insight on this right now they may even be talking to somebody about this um but i do feel like they want to rectify this with you all right knight of swords tell us more the sun okay um again so so there there's a layer here where this person does they want to take action towards you as as they're the, you know a lot of love for you there's just a lot of love here a lot of emotion for you um but there's something that's been illuminated here to them um, in their action. So so however it was that they acted that caused this conflict, they're now seeing it. Okay, so that's kind of what this, um, I feel like this pause has kind of shown them. Okay, so they've reflected, they can clearly see where they went wrong. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're at the point now, they're going to have to graduate from this page of wands and they can't come in as the Knight of Swords either. Okay. Clearly we, we see that that didn't work out well for them last time. So, um, you know, again, this is just, um, I don't know how long it's going to take for them to fully realize the whole thing, but the, the, the good news is here is that they're starting to see it. So, all right, death, why is that here? <clears throat> it's it's the ten of swords so there was an ending a painful one at that okay um your person does not want that to be the the case they don't want that to be the final um thing with you they don't want this to be over um so we do see that there's an ending um we do see that this person is getting clarity on their actions and why it led to this ending here with you um and i feel like they're about to just they're about to do something here you know with the four of these the endings really sparking them to um kind of uh, take the leap and come back in and, you know, um, have like a rebirth of this connection with you. Okay. They want to add more of the uh, fun loving energy and not so much of the brash, harsh energy. Okay. So, all right, pile one, that was your reading. If you enjoyed it, please let me know below. I would love to know if it resonated with you guys. If it did not feel free to check out the other piles, um, as this is a general pick a card reading. So not every message is going to resonate for everybody, but uh, that being said, we will jump over to pile two and I will see you guys in the next video, pile one. All right, pile two, welcome to your reading. Let's dive right in here, find out what your person is thinking about this connection, how they're feeling about you and what's going on um, in general with them right now as we're pulling this reading or whenever you watch it because these are timeless. So uh, if you're here, then you're meant to see this. So again, if this pile doesn't resonate with you guys, then feel free to check out the other two uh, because again, this is a general pick a pile. Oh, right off the bat. Okay, pile two, this is going to be a good one. Um, we have the tower coming out, very first card, uh, and the high priestess. So uh, right off the bat, I feel like somebody is having a tower moment here um, because of something that they've held, they've kept secret. Okay, I'm really getting that. Um, they could also be viewing you as this high priestess, okay? And so the cards could be saying, uh, we're going to clarify here in just a second, but um, 
there's a tower so the first card out you could be dealing with the Aries okay um, you could be an Aries uh, take it how it resonates right but somebody's had a tower moment here um, and when it comes to you and this could have to do something with something that was hidden okay that they that they didn't tell you that they that you didn't know about um, but in turn has caused some kind of tower for them here this is going to be juicy let's find out what the number three card is here because this is the hidden energy um, basically the soul energy of your person what they're not showing to the world how you know they're not telling anybody but they're higher selves you know we we kind of know so let's find out knight of wands okay this is somebody who um <clears throat> they want to take some kind of action and i feel like they want to do it soon okay the knight of wands doesn't wait around it's a very quick moving energy here um and i think what's sparking this little knight of wands um for their hidden energy is this tower okay uh they know who you are they know that you're highly intuitive you guys might even be i heard telepathic communications okay um whatever this is this energy wants to move forward okay they want to um, take some kind of bold brave action towards you right now okay this this tower is sparking that so they've had some kind of breakdown epiphany um just some kind of realization okay this this could also speak to them you know the high priestess maybe they've had a realization about this connection that in turn is forcing them to take some kind of action i can't wait to clarify these so <laughs> this is gonna be good all right uh high priestess what's bookending tell us more king of pentacles okay yeah this is somebody who um okay there could be a king of pentacles here who you know again has a secret um a secret that they're hiding something um that has caused some sort of tower moment in their life or this could be the the high priestess and the king of pentacles this is somebody that knows i, I just i'm getting a very wise energy here even though we have the knight of wands as the hidden um this is again a lot of attraction here for you with this knight of wands and i feel like they try to keep it hidden under this king of pentacles type exterior here um so you know they may not really show that they're interested uh but underneath it all they definitely are um, and, and this could be what they're keeping secret. That's just what I heard for some of you guys out there for pile two. Um, and this is what's causing the tower is that they've kept this, uh, you know, this attraction for you kind of pushed down and they've kept it a secret, which, um, has basically caused a tower moment for this King of Pentacles. Okay. All right, let's keep going. Why is the tower here? What's, uh, what's book ending right next? Oh, okay this king of pentacles is about to make some kind of move okay um they're about to kind of let their guard down a little bit which we know the king of pentacles can be guarded because he's got an empire to protect right he's um he's solid he's stable he's not going to let somebody just come in and, and take what's his so what we have here is you know the fool this this king of pentacles is having a tower because i feel like they weren't able to express their true feelings to you okay and so what it's doing is it's forcing them to make to take the sleep um and they're working up the courage to become this knight of wands to kind of rush in here and 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 do something before you get away i just heard so somebody's making a plan here somebody is strategizing um yeah let's start clarifying the tower please why is the tower here for pile two this person <clears throat> justice Hey, two, two major arcanas, guys. Um, yeah, this this had to happen, okay? This had to happen for this King of Pentacles to kind of um, get in touch with his true emotions, his true feelings, his true desires. Uh, the tower had to come in. And this is going to, um, I heard, bring you some kind of justice as well because I think that you've been waiting. You've been waiting for this person to let their guard down. You've been waiting for them to show you kind of really how they feel and i think as the high priestess energy here you've known it all along but again this person um kind of puts up this uh kind of stable like grounded facade where you know they don't let passion drive them right but uh we see it you know we see it underlying so they, they in fact they are letting passion drive them all right let's clarify the two the high priestess here four of swords okay so this is um 
Mm, this is somebody that's been quiet. Okay, I don't think that you have heard from this person in a while. Um, this is somebody who has kind of kept their emotions, their passions to themselves about you, um, which again has has turned turned into this tower, which is justice. It's karmic justice, right? Because I think that you've been waiting for a while to actually get validation from this person. Um, and so what's happening here is the justice is coming in to bring healing healing to the situation and the justice here is for them to take that leap of faith and come towards you and and divulge how they're actually feeling okay true feelings here all right knight of wands tell us more <laughs> it's the queen of cups so not only guys is there a ton of passion and attraction to you um they have a lot of love okay queen of cups is the most love you can pull from the deck here and this person is hiding all of this i mean i would be surprised that you would even know that they're into you you know with as as guarded as this person is um but wow under the surface under everything at the soul they have a ton of passion ton of love yeah it, this is what i'm saying uh, um and and this is actually what's again what's causing the tower now look here guys we have three major arcanas I mean, we have four out, right? But we have three at the corners already. Um, and this is just somebody that's being forced uh, to take this leap towards you. Yeah, that's the universe has had enough. They're like, listen, we know, we know the truth here. We know what your soul wants. We know how you feel. Uh, you're going to get pushed off that ledge here. Okay, the tower is going to push them off uh, towards bringing you justice, uh, which is them telling you how they feel. Okay. It's, um, the queen of cups gives the love, you know, she doesn't hold it back. So this person is coming in. I feel like their soul is urging them to do this. Okay. King of pentacles. Tell us more. Why is the king of pentacles here? 10 of cups. Yeah. 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 Your person, um, hmm. you know, there's been so much fantasizing about this that I feel like they've kept it under wraps for so long. Um, you are their 10 of cups. They view you as that. You know, I don't know why this person has denied this. Um, you know, I'm not getting indications of a third party here, but that's not to say that there's not. Uh, but this could be like a work related where they feel like they just don't have enough time to give to you. Uh, but again, they have all this love and this attraction for you and they do view you as the Ten of Cups. I mean, there's a ton of love here, guys. This person is, is in love. I'm just going to say that. You see him looking. He's just fantasizing. <clears throat> Um, and I think it's, you know, it's time for fantasy land to come to an end. This, this person has to get out of their head and actually take that leap forward and bring it into the 3d, right? We're, we're not just living in the 5d here. It doesn't work that way. Uh, we are here on earth and we are here to experience this. So, you know, gotta let our guards down. And I think this person is having this tower moment in order for that to happen. Okay. The fool, why is that here? Three of cups. Yeah, it's, it's. It's the universe saying, like, you are going to take this leap of faith. You're going to communicate. This is a huge card of communication right here. It's a reconciliation card. Um, it's a coming together. Yeah, yeah. The, they have no choice, okay? This person has no choice. Fantasy time is up. You know, enough sitting and waiting, uh, daydreaming about you. It's time to make it happen, okay? Because this energy at the soul level is it's pushing up, you know? She's underwater, but she's got to come up for breath. Yeah, she's got to come up for breath and take that leap. So again, pile two, this is a great read. Um, there's a lot of love here. This person uh, is, I feel is, <clears throat> they're being pushed right now by the universe. So I think that this is uh, some kind of, the hand of fate is at play here, I do believe. Um, and I do believe it's because they kind of just uh, deed around for a while. You know, they sat on their butt and they did nothing and they kept all this from you uh, when in fact it just, it ended up hurting them, okay? It ended up causing a lot of stress, uh, the anxiety, um, sleepless nights, you know, even though we don't have the Nine of Swords here, I'm definitely seeing that in my mind's eye right now. So, you know, this person, it, it's come to a head. Um, and uh, yeah, communication is inevitable here. So it's going to happen guys. I would just say that, um, 
yeah, if this was your reading, I would definitely get ready for some kind of communication here from your person. All right. I hope this resonated. If it did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and you will get notified when I post more pick a cards. All right. Moving on to group number three here. All right. Hey, group three, let's go ahead and find out what your person is feeling towards this connection, how they're thinking about you, um, and what their just their energy is when it comes to this connection here with you. Okay. We have the seven of swords, first card out and the four of wands. Mm. <clears throat> okay. All right, pile three. I'm just going to go ahead and say that the initial energy of your read here is that there is somebody here who is in a commitment so this will be a third party reading so go ahead and pick another pile if you don't think this is for you but um this is overwhelmingly third party um situation here for me with the four of wands and the seven of swords so this is somebody who um there's deception here um on a uh that's centered around a, a supposedly stable and solid foundation right yeah, so so we're going to keep going and find out what the hidden energy of this your person is right now. Um again, this is, you know, it's a little juicy. Um let's find out what's the hidden energy. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's the 10 of wands. Um yeah, this is this is a burden for this person, okay? So if if there's a choice between you and somebody else that they're already committed to this is a very heavy heavy burden for this person and i think that they're trying to hide it i mean we see the seven of swords this is somebody who is um you know they're they're deceptive in a way right so they're trying to hide that this uh, this situation is is almost becoming to the point of overwhelm for them okay but we definitely see that in the energy here so let's keep going what uh, tell us more the bookend of the four of wands uh let's find out what's going on here <clears throat> yeah it's, it's a decision right okay so this is somebody juggling um again guys if this is not your reading i i definitely suggest picking another pile here because this is pretty straightforward for whoever needs to hear this and whoever resonates for this um yeah there's a choice here with the two of pentacles okay your person's uh weighing out options um i definitely feel that this is a it's it's definitely a secretive connection okay and so I don't know if you are aware that they're committed uh, somewhere else, but <clears throat> the cards are saying that this is what's going on. So uh, currently they are trying to weigh their options um, underneath it all. Their soul is very burdened, okay? Because I do sense that there is a lot of emotion, a lot of feeling here for you. Um, but I think that there is something on their side that they are um hmm, they're on the fence about okay so let's keep going seven of swords what's bookending that red with the two of pentacles as well <laughs> king of wands okay so you could be dealing with a fire sign here uh aries leo sag um but so okay so this is uh yeah the, i think hmm, this person is definitely putting up a front here um, I think that this person, hmm, there's almost a feeling of having their cake and eating it too. You know, the King of Wands is a little flashy, a little arrogant. I think, you know, uh, a lot of them are very attractive. And so it leads to this energy of, um, of that type of behavior, right? So if they are juggling you with somebody else, um, as we see here, you know, this is the kind of energy that they're operating in. Now, do I think that their soul wants to, to be operating in this? No, because it's, we can see here, it's become such a burden for them to, to continue this. Okay. So, um, they're definitely feeling it. They're feeling overwhelmed by this. Um, so let's keep going. Let's see if we can find out a little more seven of swords. Let's see. Let's clarify. Eight of cups. Mm, okay. <clears throat> so you may have walked away from this person because of this deception. So I don't know if this is going to resonate for some of you guys out there, but uh, you could have found out that they were in a commitment. And so you, you walked away. Okay. Um, for others of you out there, this is going to be them walking away because 
they um, again we see the burden here right so if they walked away from you um, it was because of this deception and it was because of this of this commitment and it just became too much of a burden here okay and and they couldn't decide so the easiest thing for them to do would be to walk away uh, let's keep going because I do want to see what's read with this eight of cups and the four of wands here and I think we'll get a little more clarity on this specific message okay nine of cups four of wands okay okay so this is somebody going towards this is it we see the eight of cups so somebody's walking away from the eight broken cups going towards the nine of cups here um let me just look at this for a second because mm. okay 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 i see what this is um this person okay if they did have a choice between you and uh, a partner that they were already committed to and i'm not even going to say karmic partner because you know i'm really not not you know queen of swords hasn't come out anything like that so i don't i don't know that that's the the deal here but um they walked away they may have walked away from this connection with you to go back to what they had on their side because they thought it was going to be the nine of cups but what happened is that they only fooled themselves and that when they got back there it was still this burden okay it was still this overwhelming fear of ex like feeling of ex exhaustion here so what they thought you know they were walking away from to go towards it's it's not not their nine of cups and this also could be somebody who um I don't know i'm just getting like a drinky vibe from this person as well so they might like their alcohol they might like to party a little bit um you know with the nine of cups here so all right let's keep moving um let's see what's rubbed with the ten of wands so this will be again the hidden energy here around them that they are not showing let's see ten of wands four of pentacles okay yeah so they're they're holding back they're holding back they're trying not to let this uh the the weight of this uh connection get to them okay um but again we see it's ten of wands and so tens are are the dead end pretty much you know and a new cycle begins so they have nowhere else to go you know they have nowhere else to go and i just i just saw the ace of wands in in my um <laughs> in my mind's eye here and so with the you know the 10 resets to the ace right so that's what's about to happen here um all of this passion that they do have for you is about to come out because this burden is just so heavy from them holding back and i feel like they held back from making this choice uh whatever this choice is you know between you and and something else i mean I'm assuming it's a third party because we have the four of wands, but honestly, this could be a family, uh, a family situation too. But um, yeah, so this is somebody who is trying to, um, on the outside, you know, especially if they are in another commitment, they're trying to appear like everything's good. You know, they're trying to hold back the stress, this burden that they're feeling, um, but it's, it's becoming unbearable. So I don't, I don't know how much longer this person can keep pretending that, you know, everything's good when we can clearly see that it's not. Um, let's keep going to a pinnacles. six of cups yeah <clears throat> and there is um um there's a decision here uh between you and some something from their past and i'm just gonna say someone because that's the overwhelming vibe that i'm getting from this um it's somebody from their past that they are uh having to make a, a choice about okay but we do see you know listen they they're not kidding themselves anymore um whatever they have on their side is it's not the nine of cups okay um it's six of cups at best and and you know that can be friendship that can be someone since we've known since childhood that can be family i mean it can be anybody you know that we're very fond of um so you know they've got a choice here they do and and what's happening here at the soul level is they're really about to explode because um, again, they, they thought that this was going to be their nine cups and it's not. And, um, for a lot of them being in this King of Wands energy, the person that they chose, the person that they have on their side is, um, probably most likely not nearly as passionate, uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, that type of stuff as 
this person is. Uh, and so that can cause a lot of issues um, in these type of commitments, right? It can cause deception. It can cause somebody to fantasize about other options here. Um, and I think that's kind of what's happened here. So your person's really, they're really thinking about it. And I feel like they're, this is, you know, to me, it's not, you know, the soul energy, but this is sitting pretty heavy in the energy. This, this two of pentacles for me, um, I think this person's really doing a lot of back and forth here, um, trying to decide what to do. All right. King of wands. Eight of pentacles. <clears throat> okay. Um, okay. Yeah, so so this person has tried to work on this. Uh, this is this is bringing me back to what we were just talking about, where if they are with somebody else, um, the passion's kind of gone there for them, and I feel like this person tried to make it work. You know, they tried not to fall into these deceptive kind of ways, um, because they you know they had a connection with this person. They you know they had they've made memories, right? Um, they possibly share a home, children even. Uh, for some of you, definitely children are going to be involved here, right? Um, so they did try to make it work. But the energy that I'm getting here overall for this person is they truly do want this Nine of Cups. The problem is if they're already committed, um, you know, I think that this person's tried to do the right thing. They tried to walk away from this deception. Uh, but the the thing is they, they can't, it's, it's such a burden. Um, they think about you all the time and it, it's really, you know, for a lot of you that this is your situation, this person feels very guilty. Okay. They feel, they feel guilty. They feel guilty that they can't, um, really put away their feelings for you and, and make this work with what they have. And they're feeling very guilty. They don't want to have these feelings. I mean, they don't want to partake in this, you know, deceptive behavior. They want to be honest here uh, about what they want. But again, I just think that there's a lot that they have on their side that would be affected by this decision. So um, again, this is somebody who really, though, these these gates can't stay shut for much longer with, uh, with, with these Ten of Wands pushing at them. So... Um, again, I, they're going to, they're going to have to make some kind of choice here, guys. So, uh, pile three, that was your reading. I hope it resonated with some of you out there. Um, if it did, I would love to hear from you in the comments. And if you enjoyed the reading, make sure to hit the like button and I will talk to you guys next time. All right. Bye.